I've got a garment here and I want to add some stitching effects to this. Now there's a few ways to do this and they all work in different ways. So we can open up the layers panel, which is here, or we can go windows layers to open it. And I'm going to put a new layer in and I'm going to call it stitching. Keep things nice and simple. Now I can just zoom in here and I can go, well, I want to copy the stitching on the left. So I could take a straight line. I could go from this point, oops, this point here, draw it out to that point, and the lines are already there. Now if that wasn't dashed, I can just go to stroke and turn dashed line on and off. I can set different areas and have it done that way. So that is one way to do it. Alternatively, I could use the pen tool and I could draw a uh, arrangement there, select the anchor tool, take maybe this section there, this section there, do various bits of uh, arrangement to give it a curve and leave it like that. But it might be that my bottom on the dress or garment has a particular kind of curve that I want to replicate exactly without having to go through the faff of drawing a uh, new curve. So how can you do this? If we, what we need to do is isolate the bottom of the curve. So if we click here, we'll see that what we're actually highlighting is the path that goes around the entire garment. And you can see as zoom out, there's the whole thing. Zoom back in again and making my layers a bit shorter. What I need to do is cut the bottom off this path. i do that. I select the scissors tool. If you can't find it, then look for the eraser tool, hold down left click, and it's the second option long. Now, this path's already selected, as we can see by the meatball and the blue dot. I can just hover over here, and that blue dot in the corner there is called an anchor. I can just rest my cursor over that, click once, and that has split, at that point, the bottom of the curve from the rest of the garment. Go to another one, right over here, click. And now, I can take my direct selection tool, select that path, and you'll see that it's a path separate from what we had before. So it's right there. I can turn it off and on at my leisure. So, why is this useful? Well, what we need to do is we're gonna do an offset of a line from this. We're not quite ready yet, because we'll do one more thing. Take the pen tool and just draw a shape around to finish off. Now we've got an enclosed um, loop here, which is what you need for doing this. So we go with this selected, we go Windows, Appearance, and we can start adding different effects. So we're gonna add a stroke here. So add a new stroke, and there it is at the top. Now right now, it's the same as the current stroke, so you can't see any difference, but that's completely fine. Now we need to click on the stroke button there, brings up this menu and we're gonna offset to the inside. Now you might see that by doing that, the line just got thicker. If I turn some to a dashed line, you'll see that there's a dashed line on the inside of the shape. I'm gonna make this dashed line a bit thinner to 0.5. Now, you can't quite see it too easily, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna offset it a bit further. So without selecting anything different, I go effects, path, offset path. Now, click on preview, what you can see is that the path offset has appeared somewhere else. Now, that's too far out, so I'm going to use minus three. Preview, and there we have a line. That actually is about where I wanted to be, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to do this again, Add another path, click on stroke, 0.5, inside, dashed, keep the dash the same. Effect, path, set path. This time I'm going to go from minus four. Preview there. Let's see it's now on the inside there. And click OK. Now, as you see, we've got two lines going directly parallel to each other. However, there's a mess around this area where they're kind of conflicting. So, just go to our direct selection tool. And we can actually modify. Oops. <laughs> just go to undo that. Um, option Z on the Mac. Control Z on PC, click on one of these anchors, 
And you see that we, as we move, this mess gets sorted out. So I want to make sure it goes far enough outside the edge. So there we have one there. And let's just pull this one back out there. Now, as you can see, this is not looking exactly like the garment we want to look like. So we need to do some clipping. It's called a clipping mask. So we can just close down the appearances because we're done with this. But remember that if you want to go back and change it, all you've got to do is click on there, direct select the anchors and have fun. So it's nice and modifiable. So, oh yeah, also if you click on this um, object again and you have to go Windows uh, Appearance, you've got all options there. You can do a lot more changes, add more strokes, add another left to change, change the weighting. Um, so you can see here, I can make that second one 0.25, so the in one lighter. So you can go back and change things. But what we, want, what we want to do now is remove everything apart from the bit of stitching we really care about. To do this, you've got to make another shape. So back onto our pen tool, which is a great tool to use. And I'm going to just draw a line underneath. So click once, click again. Now I'm going to intersect with the corner there. So click on the anchor once, go in. I'm going to go across there. Now click on the anchor there, and then close the path. Now, right now, it could be a bit difficult to see what's going on, so I'm going to click on this and just say fill it with black. So you can really see exactly everything that's going on. We've got a path which is right at the top there. I'm going to bring this down to be just above the path which we played with earlier. So here we have this um, two paths. So we select our original shape, and hold on shift and select a new shape, right click and select make clipping mask. Now see what happened is everything outside the original shape, um, so the new shape has been removed. Now if we and hide the top area, you see it goes away, and it comes back. Now you see here the stitching at the corner here is kind of cut off suddenly. So I'm just gonna take my selection tool and run it over. And you can see the outside shape like goes to blue. So I'm gonna click on that, and even though you can't see the shape, it's been selected in the layers, and it's been selected here. Take my direct selection tool, and click on this anchor here, so we selected, just drag him up, not too far, until yeah, a little bit further, about there. So my stitching is good, and uh, this side is the same, just bring it back to there. So, maybe a little bit further. So we've got two parallel lines, and to show you how we can edit this further, if I select this line, oops, select the uh, large original one, which is there, Click the meatball, windows, appearance. We've got different areas. Now the offset path, this one here was minus four. Click on to minus five, click OK. It moves a bit further away, and I'm quite happy with that. The, um, on the strokes, dashed lines, I'm not quite happy with. I'm going to make this a bit longer. Just move the top of that, make this 2.5. So that's actually looking a lot more like I want it. Let's just go repeat this here. Oops, it's always in that one. Yeah, because they're both the same. So we've actually edited that. I've got together, we've now made two parallel lines. Once again, that's not quite looking quite what I wanted to. Direct select the corner to take it in. And, then, and we can just play around this all day. So that is two ways to add stitching to a garment in Adobe Illustrator.